What's going on guys, so we're back with a new video and in today's one I want to show you the new update that has come out for Daisy Expansion's trader system. They've done it now so where when you're in a trader you can customize attachments that you want to put on your weapons and on your vests. It's a really really cool system. So obviously you go up to a trader and you want to interact with your trader and then you have a load of different options for stuff now what we're actually going to do here is go to assault rifles and i'm going to show you what it's like to kit out an m4 the reason i'm going to do an m4 is an m4 has the most amount of attachments that you can get on pretty much any other gun you go over select your m4 and then over the right hand side you can see uh, the m4 itself and then you can see customize you want to click on customize then you get a load of options on the left hand side so you can go through all these, you can get different uh, magazines and such, like 30 round magazines, 40 round magazines, you can get different optics, depending on your server you're playing on, these uh, magazines and optics will change, obviously different servers have different uh, attachments and stuff, but you can get all these different uh, optics and stuff, I'm going to put on, we'll say, ACOG. Uh, you can get different compensators. Now, the one thing Daisy Rearm does is it doesn't allow you to buy suppressors because suppressors on guns are pretty overpowered, so you have to try and find them yourselves. You can then choose different stocks. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to go for like a black and tan teams M4. We can go handguards as well. We can choose that handguard. And then I think, I'm not sure if you can actually put a bayonet on. I don't think you can. That is pretty much how it's done. So when you have your M4 and you're like, oh, that's the one that I want to use, then you can save this preset in the trader. So you can go down here and call it whatever. I'm just going to call it M4. And then you can hit save preset. And that saves a preset in the trader. So the next time you come back to the trader and you want to buy the same M4 again, you can literally just go up to it and hit the M4 and this will be saved here and you can just instantly buy it without having to kiss it out again. Say you went up to your saved item and you're like, I want to change up my M4 a bit. You can just go down the bottom here and hit clear selected and it'll clear everything off it. And then you can go again and change it up. Whatever else you want on it for a change. So you can really create kind of anything you want with whatever attachments are on the server and then if you want to again you can go here rename it and then hit save and save it again so you can have you know different types of ones if you really want to this will pretty much work for any weapon that you have out there so you know you could do you could do lmgs if you really want to you know put sights on these do whatever doesn't look like you can find mags for this gun you obviously have to buy them but you can get the idea where you can customize it if you have the mags for it same goes for uh, sniper rifles you want to customize the remington you can get your mag for it and then all your different optics once again so it's just it's a really really cool system i like the way they've done it and then the same goes for plate carriers and stuff like that as well you can select a plate carrier and then go here and you can customize them by putting different things on it even though i've selected stuff it's not showing on it it's a bug at the moment with the uh the uh, mod itself but with certain ones you will actually be able to see all the stuff you put on like the pouches the canteens the ifacts or whatever other attachments you want on your vest you can have on it and then you can do the same thing by saving the preset or clearing it and redoing everything again depending on what you want as you can see when i came back into assault rifles and i go over to the m4 my preset is already saved so it saves that preset there and then i can go in just buy that instantly again or i can change it up if i want to you know put different attachments on it same goes for different guns like the vector as well you can put you know your mags your optics everything and anything onto these guns it's just it's such a cool little feature and it's something that is going to be interesting to see how it works on servers when i first saw this i think we saw it on the daisy podcast this weekend and my first impression was well that kind of takes losing out of it a bit and could make it a bit overpowered but honestly i'd have to try it and see what it's like so i'm going to hold my opinions for a minute until we actually you know fully give it a go but it's a really really neat idea i really really do like it and i like the way daisy expansion is slowly getting the updates it needs and the fixes it needs as well and it's nice to see that they are slowly but surely working on it and getting everything 
going again. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section down below as usual. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. And um, yeah, until then, I should catch you guys in the next one. So, peace out for now.